We do now have the only centre right or viable centre right mayoral candidate in Auckland left standing after Viv Beck pulled out on Friday. And we did have a little bit of confusion, and he had some plumbing issues to do this morning. But I'm very happy to welcome mayoral candidate Wayne Brown uh, to the program. Wayne, thank you for joining us. Sorry about the confusion. <laughs> Um, busy. Uh, Wayne, uh, that, that's a lousy line we've got. Are you on speakerphone or something? No, I'm uh, on ordinary shot. Sure. Ah, that's better. Speaker. That's that's much better. That is much okay, better. You sounded better. like you you were literally talking from inside the plumbing uh, there, Wayne. Well, I've just got out. I've just got out of it. <laughs> All right. What's wrong? What's okay. up with the plumbing? What's wrong with the pipes, Wayne? Oh no! It turns out to be an electrical thing, but um, oh. if, if, you, if you've got uh, commercial things, there's always something happening. All right, but um, it's all fixed. Yeah. Well, Wayne, you are yeah. really the only centre right candidate left standing, but boy, it took yeah, well, a that's true. It, it took a while for that to happen. Are you disappointed um, that Viv Beck took so long so long to to pull out and allow, if you like? Um, those who would oppose a FISO Collins to congregate under your banner? Well, it did take her a while, but, I mean, I, I can't control other people. Um, and the important thing now is for people to understand that she has pulled out. We've heard that there are some old dears that have voted for her, not realising that she's not actually wanting to be there. Gosh, so and that was, I guess, what Leo it. Malloy did. Leo pulled out the day so he wasn't going to be on the ballot. Um, yeah, well, we all thought that Viv was going to pull it that day too, but I think she spotted that Leo didn't pull, so she thought, oh, maybe I've got a chance here. Okay, um, uh, so were they meant to... Did was the, did the three of you have some arrange, um, arrangement that it was going to no, end up just being one of you, or was, was that the understanding? No, there wasn't really an understanding there. Um, I didn't know Leo was going to pull out, but he's, uh, he's a sensible person, and he can read numbers. And, yeah. um, and, uh, um, and Viv must have thought, oh, well, he's gone, maybe I can have a miracle. But I was well ahead at this stage, you know, particularly yeah. with Viv. Yeah, Wayne, then, Wayne you, you're, you're, you're coming, you're, you're dropping in and out, out about phone-wise. We were really good for a moment. Are you walking around or are you just moving? No. Oh, uh, that's no, better there, I'll, right there. Right, right okay, there's the spot. I've got a slightly dodgy phone at the moment. It's kind of had a meltdown on Friday. This, what with her pulling out and, and me having the thing about not talking to Simon Wilson. It yeah. ran red hot and just about melted on me. Yeah, now I wanted to talk about this, Wayne. I thought that was such an interesting move. There was going to be a mayoral debate uh, and it was going to be mediated or, or adjudicated by Simon Wilson, who's a very famous left-wing Juno in Auckland. For the Herald, and is probably more interested yeah. in his own views on urban design and transport and cycling everywhere than, than any other journalist I know. And you surprisingly said, well, I'm not going to do a mayoral debate if Simon Wilson is running it, because that wouldn't be fair. Um, that's a big call. Well, it is, it, it is but I mean... Uh they didn't tell me it was going to be him until the night before, and they've got some really good, even-handed journalists. And um, and I used to get on a okay with him, but he's had a long string of articles attacking me. And I'm thinking, well, it's, you know, I don't know if I, know, if I need that. Who was um, who was um, who was organising the debate? NZME. Oh, it was NZME. NZME. So who would be acceptable to you from NZME? to do an Auckland mayoral well, debate? Well, it's quite a few of them in there. I mean, the, the guy who, who writes most about the council thinks is a chick called Bernard Orsman, who seems to be very... I know Bernard, he's a, good, he's a good stick and he's not bent or anything, one way or t'other. No, no, he's neither for me nor against me, which is in the middle. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I've been accused of being angry and, uh, and, and someone said I wasn't fit for the job and all that sort of stuff there, which is... Well, it's really because I'm actually the only person who's actually had experience of doing that particular yeah. job. So did they go ahead with the debate anyway? Or are they going to go ahead without you? Or are they going to try and find an adjudicator who wasn't bent one way or the other? Not sure about that. They didn't go ahead because in the middle of it, um, they pulled out anyhow. Okay. And so the whole day went west. 
And, um, and uh, we don't know what's going on. <laughs> I think the, my, my people are talking to their people. <laughs> Whatever, it, it sounds very presidential, but it isn't. Yeah. Um, so, I'm not sure. Yeah. And time frame. But coming back to visit, there are people who still think that she's in it, so that if, if, um, if anyone's listening, she has actually pulled out. And so a vote for her now is a complete waste of time. Time, it is, but she's on the ballot, and that's a, that's a problem you have to um, deal it's with. It's kind of annoying. It is annoying, really. I yeah. Mean, well, that's because I mean, the centre right didn't get its, its act together, Wayne. You've only got yourselves to blame for that, haven't you? Well, I'm not necessarily. I mean, I'm, I'm truly independent. I mean, uh, we've just kind of tangled up the citizens of the right past. And, um, and I'm on the right economically, but I'm, I'm, I'm quite liberal socially. Yeah. So I, I, each week I get texts from both John Key and Dylan Clark advice, giving me advice, often conflicting advice, but I did remain um, good friends with both of them, and they, they both were good prime ministers, and they both appointed me to fix very, very large things that had gone terribly wrong. Yeah. And so, um, uh, so I never kind of entered that. Um, organising thing from the left now. It, it, we're not standing for Parliament, we're standing to fix Auckland's Council, which is quite different. Yeah. All right, Wayne, would you be happy if I could get you and Afiso uh, on air together if I was to adjudicate a debate between you? <laughs> you, you, you give it a go. Uh, All right, um, we will give it a go. We will give that a crack. And, and, and Wayne, and, I'm going to let you get. Because this line's a bit dodgy, I'm going to let you get back to the plumbing, but I thank you for your time this morning. That is Wayne Brown on a bad phone. He's, how can you be running for Mayor of Auckland and have a dodgy phone and let it sit there for a weekend and say, so I'm doing the plumbing, I can't come on the platform?